from the Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns, and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Let's listen to Pope Francis' commentary. Quante volte nel Vangelo, nella Bibbia, troviamo questa frase, ne ebbe compassione. How many times we find this phrase in the Gospel, in the Bible? He had compassion on them. Touched, Jesus dedicates himself to the people and begins to teach again. This seems to be a contradiction, but in reality, it is not. In fact, only a heart that does not allow itself to be taken over by hastiness is capable of being moved. That is, of not allowing itself to be caught up in itself and by things to do, and is aware of others, of their wounds, their needs. Compassion is born from contemplation. If we learn to truly rest, we become capable of true compassion. If we cultivate a contemplative outlook, we will carry out our activities without that rapacious attitude of those who want to possess and consume everything. If we stay in touch with the Lord and do not anesthetize the deepest part of ourselves, the things to do will not have the power to cause us to get winded or devour us. We need, listen to this, we need an ecology of the heart that is made up of rest, contemplation and compassion.